husband of the year. Husband of the year. What? <laughs> I'm from or I'm from Oregon. You don't pump your own gas in Oregon. I don't even know how. <laughs> Good thing you married a Midwestern gal. Yeah, that's a bit it's cold your, right now. It's your job. That's dangerous. <laughs> Hello everybody, we are happy to report back on something. Um, we wanted to first of all thank everybody so much for their generosity with the fan funding for Adam from Idaho. Mm -hmm. We were blessed to deliver the good news to them about all of your generosity and... So how it happened was I had sent uh, several emails to Adam uh, with the good news of all the donations that we had gathered through the channel, through the campaign that we started, and we didn't hear back from him for a couple days. He hadn't checked his email. Uh, I was working in the wood shop, and uh, I started getting emails and private messages from him, uh, responding to all of mine uh, about how excited he was, and he didn't feel like he could talk because he would break down, and he was so nervous, and so we, we got their phone number, and we called, and when we called, his mom answered. The light bulb woman. And tell us, and say what happened. Well, they were, I think they were surprised. She didn't know anything about it. She didn't know, know who I was or why we were calling. Right, and so there was a bit of a shock there. So I, we explained and asked if it was okay. So I said, <laughs> I think that was... well, I said, I said, this is Cody and I'm trying to get hold of Adam and, and she's, you know, who's this guy calling my, my son? And I was trying to explain and, and it just, it wasn't really, I wasn't getting my point across. And then I mentioned Wrangler Star and then she, perked right up. She's like, oh, my kids, my kids watch you. But she didn't know anything about the fan funding. She didn't know about the campaign that we had but we'd done. So we had to get all the family together and we told them what had happened and it was just wonderful. I, I was telling you that I, I don't think that we could have, uh, that there, we could have found a more deserving family. Right. It really does. And, and after talking with them, uh, it truly was a miracle uh, that that he contacted me and, and outpouring of your generosity because this uh, this family, this will really be helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was very fun to be the messengers of the good news. Squeezing my hand. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> so, I don't what, like to be on videos. <laughs> what, we, what we were going to do, uh, get the iron grip. What we were going to do was um, we contacted them and, and there was six members in the family and so we said, well, we'll just split it up between you. Uh, with, you guys can go on to Amazon.com and you can get anything that you need. Um, and, uh, and we were going to, that, that's what we were proposing. Well, we got an email back because, uh, well, some of, the kids, some of the kids are really big and they have kind of unusual, like one of the boys has like size 15 shoes. Mm -hmm. And that was it was difficult for them because what they really needed was clothing. And try on. To try on, and, and so that didn't work. So what we ended up doing is is that we just uh, we just sent them a check, and that way they can um, they can go and, and try things on, and, and it just it seemed to work out best for them. So thank you. Yeah. So anything else you want to add? No. Okay. Well, that's it. I just wanted to give you an update of, of what took place, and it was really a blessing for this family. I wish you could have been on the phone call. Well, I mean, there was tears and, and happiness and excitement. It was just, it's just not very often you get to do something like that. And it, um, it's really what life is all about. So I really thank all of you for your generosity. And I want you to know uh, how much that meant to this family. So thank you very much. Thank you. All right. We'll see you guys in the next video.